President Xi of China, President Biden of the United States. They've had a phone call. The call's concluded, according to the White House. Uh, they spoke Tuesday, the first one-on-one -on -one communication since meeting in California last November. Bloomberg's Ender Curran in Washington, D.C. with the details. This is Bloomberg Technology, so there is an element of this conversation about the technology sector. What is the must-know about the conversation between President Biden and President Xi? Well, as you say, first of all, the first time they've had a one-on-one -on -one since November. The White House briefing suggesting it's kind of a progress check-in in terms of where things have gone since then. The main points coming from our colleagues at the White House is that they spoke about the counter-narcotics trade. Of course, that's the topic of fentanyl, which is central to what both presidents have been discussing. And then there was a broader discussion around China's role in, uh, in playing for stability in the Middle East, using its leverage there. And, of course, China's role when it comes to the war in in Ukraine. Now, the whole broader point of this call speaks to the idea that both sides are continuing to try and stabilise relations. There are areas of cooperation, for example, in AI, as you mentioned there, uh, but the focus of the call in terms of the details so far seems to have been both on security and on the counter-narcotics trade. And uh, there's a whole list of things that they could have talked about that perhaps would have more ramifications on the economies as well. I mean, you say that they're working to try and find at least, well, security and guardrails around AI. But at the moment, we were just talking how at the moment the US is leaning on South Korea to stop them exporting so much of their chip equipment and technology to China. How much is technology at the heart of a conversation here or not? Oh, it's very much the elephant in the room. As you say, the call is about stabilising relations, but that does not mean the competitive strategic edge that has gone away. And, of course, the point being there, export controls, investment controls, the race for uh, the US to get back in the game in terms of chip production and EV production and everything else, none of that is, has been changed or will be changed by this phone call or any other. This is about basic communications. Remember, it was only a year ago, actually, there were, there were no communications between the two governments after the, after the balloon incident. So it's just all about getting the basic guardrails in place. Don't forget Treasury Secretary Yellen, of course, uh, among the officials going to Beijing. So uh, no major progress from this. The technology race story hasn't changed. It's just about keeping things on an even keel.